ladies and gentlemen, and we're back to another episode of Terraria, the Thoria mod. And uh, this episode is going to be you know, decently based around f fucking digging and shit. So, I've already done something neat. Uh, the next liquid, really, that we're going to be using is... Fucking, did I say liquid? The next ore that we're going to be using is obsidian. Uh, we can make obsidian ingots and all kinds of cool things. Excuse you. And, um, I guess, I, I, I've already set up a cool little thing, so we're just gonna see where it goes, I guess. I really hope this doesn't take, like, forever. Oh, it's totally gonna. And it's gonna knock out all my torches. That's super cool. It's not gonna matter, because now, like, I'm gonna die, I have wings, but, yeah, it's just mad cool that it just, you know, took out all my torches without even asking me. Oh, well. It'll be worth it. Ooh. Alright, that's nice. So, here's where... Ooh, torches. Nice. Alright, so I set it up nice. I set it up right here. I would like to plug this off right now, just for a while. Um, we're pretty much going to be mining as much... Uh, uh, I don't want it to go down there. Okay. Pretty much going to be mining as much lava as I can. And, uh... Or obsidian. Fucking jeez, I'm slurring my words here. These torches are coming down like you would not believe. Uh, the lava armor... The, the obsidian armor is like... It's it's special, I could say. What's happening? Why is it coming down so slowly? Okay, wait. Let me get a, let me get a nice little thing here for, for you. There we go. Alright, I'm not going to start yet. I, wanted to, I don't want there to be a lot of it water that is all right it's coming down we could we could open the floodgates now uh magma pickaxe the magma pickaxe can mine obsidian so i'm just gonna knock it knock it out right now Ugh. this is probably gonna take a long time to be honest so uh i'm gonna mine basically as much obsidian as i can because we also think like think about it, we also we also need to uh <laughs> upgrade our cobalt shield Yada yada, the good stuff. And uh, ooh, that was dangerous. Uh, there's a couple other things that we need to do with obsidian, so uh, we'll see, we'll see when it happens. And anyway, I'm just gonna mine all this obsidian. I'll be right back. Okay, I got 79. All right, well I retrieved 79. I really hope that's enough. Should be. Well, where am I even going? Alright, so let's see here. Here we go. Obsidian ingot. Gorgeous. I might want to leave 20 for the uh, skull. I'll take that right now. Alright. Oh, it's guarding. Is that better than this? Plus 3 defense, plus 3 defense. No, it's not. So 1 defense, plus 3 melee speed. I don't know, it's tough. I'll keep it in the accessories for now. Let's do that. Um, what am I doing? What, what, what? I am just a wreck right now. I don't even know. There we go. So, here, here we go. I'll uh, get rid of that. Whatever. Let's see what we can make with these obsidian ingots. We can make napalm arrows. That's cool. A conflagra conflagration potion burns you greatly, but increases damage while active. You gotta be a fucking badass to use that thing. Obsidian chest guard, 11 defense, 10 defense, 10 defense. So as you can clearly see, this this defense on on the uh, defense on the obsidian armor is absolutely insane. However, it also gives you immunity to fire blocks and immunity to lava. So you're probably thinking, wow, that's like the best armor ever. No, it's not. And I'll tell you why. Um, unfortunately, this thing pretty much cuts your speed in one-fourth. I don't know if it's worth it. We're going to find out. I'll be using it to mine Hellstone, though, so... Uh, that's... That's nice. We have Obsidian Ham Axe, Obsidian Pickaxe, Napalm Launcher, and an Obsidian Saber. And I think... I'm... Uh, do I want the Napalm Launcher? Not really, actually. I was... I... I mean... Yeah, it's... That's pretty much it. I need to put you in underground. Yeah. I set up a nice little thing here already. 
Okay. Ooh, speaking of obsidian, I got an obsidian skin potion. Anyway, uh, we're actually getting really close to getting in a pretty hard mode, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a few more, uh, I'm gonna mine pretty much a bunch more obsidian, and we're gonna go, well, we're gonna see what we can do with that, basically, so I'll be right back once again. I found a stylist. What are you gonna do for me? Nothing. So I just found out something really cool. My Thunderbird has a health bar that I don't really understand yet. If it goes up here, you'll see really soon, really soon, really soon. Come on, bud. Oh, you're being difficult right now. Oh, there we go. As you'll see, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. He, he just hit the baby Thunderbird. The spiked ice slime is still at full health, so he's not the one getting hit. But the baby Thunderbird is uh, getting hit. I don't know if that's a glitch, or it actually does have an invisible health bar. But I just thought it'd be cool to show that off. So, uh, yeah. Would you look at this haul? Alright, I got 500 and... F what's that? Oh, 505 cobwebs. Oh boy, that is something else right there. So I'm just gonna, you know... See what I got here. I got a worm banner, which is pretty cool. Let's see, underground poop. I don't need anything other than obsidian and obsidian ingots. Really? I have that much gold? Well, that's good to know. I have to get rid of that. I'll just sell it, whatever. I don't need more than that uh, in terms of gold. Got a cool new painting, which looks rather nice if I do say so myself. Band of Regeneration, Blink Roots, yada yada. You can all see it right here. And this. <laughs> so. Now we can move on to something that I have been waiting quite a while to do. Uh, does this go here? I, th I don't think it does go there. Where does it go then? Decorations. Boom. What was this? Why is that there? This should go here. Don't need this. Don't need these. Let's see here. Money. Might as well. Alright, I guess I'll just put this right there. Don't need that. And this can just go right here, because I don't know where else I'd put it. Oh, well. Here we are. In the forging grounds. Where we're going to make a ton of cool obsidian things. Like armor. So, here's the armor. I already showed you all the stats, so I'm just going to go ahead and make it. This rain is ridiculous, by the way. Okay, so let's, uh... Put it on, shall we? We don't really have a particle effect. That's kind of a shame. But we have freaking 39 defense. Immune to lava, fire, and enemy knockback. But you're slowed down. So let's just see exactly how much we're slowed down, shall we? It's actually not that bad. I thought it was going to be way worse, but it's not... Like... Really? I could, I could get over that. Well, it looks like we have a fancy new set of armor. Okay, I'll put this here for now. Eventually, eventually, you'll have a home, my friends. So, now here's the here's the question. What are, what are we going to do with the rest of our obsidian ingots? Well, I'm going to make a ham axe. We're going to test it out. It's light. Okay, sure. I don't really care about that, to be honest. We're going to test this bad boy out, so let's try the magma axe. Okay, that was really quick. Let's try the ham axe. Oh, that was way quicker. How, how quick does it remove dirt walls? Here's a good tester. Was that quicker? I don't know. It seemed quicker. Well, it, it was close enough to the point where like it doesn't even matter anymore. So, I guess I'll just sell. Uh, these two, because the starfish wand is going here when I'm done with it, and that's a fair, fair bit of gold. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh wait, I have stuff to sell. So yeah, this, these. All right, that's it. That's it. That's it. So now there's still stuff we can make. A pickaxe. I don't know if it's faster than the magma pickaxe, a napalm launcher, and a saber. 
Well, clearly the Saber. 32 melee damage. Very fast speed average knockback. I feel... <coughs> I feel like that'd be better than the Magma Flail. Which is kind of my only close range weapon as of now. So I'll make that. Put that right there. Let's see the Obsidian Saber in action. That's pretty average, I guess. And I can either make a pickaxe or a napalm launcher. Napalm, whatever. This is a close one, to be honest. But I think what I'm going to do... I already kind of have a ranged weapon. But I think for right... Ooh, it only uses napalm arrows as ammo, though. And that means I have to waste more uh, obsidian. But I do have a lot of it, so... For now, I think I'm just going to go with the pickaxe. Let's test it. Let's test it out. This one's slow. I don't know if that affects it. I hope it doesn't. Which is faster? Which is faster? Here's the question. Funnily enough, the magma pickaxe is... I don't know if speed actually makes a difference. But I don't even have the goblet tinker yet, so... It doesn't matter. So that's kind of a waste. Let's just go ahead and sell you. Oh, that's a shame. Alrighty. So I still have some leftover of uh, the, the, the obsidian ingots. Don't really need anything else. Like at this point, I could sell this too. Well, alright. Looks like we're set to take on the underworld. So now I'll just meet you guys in the underworld. And, um, we're just gonna mine a bunch of hellstone because I, I do need a hellstone pickaxe. Unfortunately, that's gonna be the last, pretty much the last pickaxe I use that is pretty hard mode. And after I mine, mine all the hellstone, we're just gonna make a few more preparations and then jump into hard mode. I'm gonna show some stuff I missed, yada yada. So I'll see you guys in hell. Lol. Here's the big tester. Oh, that's beautiful. That is amazing. Do I have any shadow keys? Who even cares, man? I look at this. This is how you mine Hellstone in style. Le legitimately just encased in lava. With no fear of anything ever coming at you. From anywhere. Fantastic. Do I have a shadow key? I don't think I have a shadow key. Can I? Really? I was gonna say, like, I can't even get out here. I actually cannot get out here. What? Oh, there we go. And I can get rid of this obsidian. I'm also gonna need to build a bridge for the waffle. The wall of flesh. But that shouldn't be a big problem either. So right now, we are just gonna mine... A bunch of hellstone. Because there is one weapon... I'm pretty sure there's, there's a couple things that, uh, that use hellstone other than the pickaxe that are not in this mod. So I'll see you guys when I have a ton of health stone. Health stone, hell stone. <sighs> well I totally forgot that I needed obsidian to make hellstone bars. So that I have to go get some some of that and I got fucking a lot of it because I just felt like it, I guess. So I need twenty-four more than I have right now. Alrighty. Hey, one thing I actually have to do. I know this is like the best jump cut ever, where I just like, you guys have no idea what's even going on. But I just popped a Spelunker Potion. Uh, excuse you. But I just popped a Spelunker Potion. And I'm just gonna go on the final stretch to find diamonds. And hopefully, maybe, a few life crystals. Like this one. Really? Really now? Really? I did not mean to do that. And a few life crystals, just like this one. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. Because, why not? Stop. Like, why not? And some thorium. Thorium is cool, too. However, since I don't have infinite time on this Spelunker Potion, what I plan on doing is just mining a little pathway. I gotta remember, though, right here. Oh, really? Oh, really? I gotta remember that just straight right of here is thorium, and even more to the left is, an, is a life crystal. That's a big vein of iron. Look at that. Alright, let's see what we got. Like, I'm really hoping that we find some, um, some diamonds. Diamonds? Diamonds are the real deal here. That's what I really need. 
I would tell you why right now, but I'll do it later in hard mode because that's when they are needed. But there's no sign of them like anywhere. Come on. Killing me here. I need to stop getting hit by that. There's emeralds. It's nice slime. Where be the diamonds? Thorium's cool too. I need some thorium. I'll take it. Here's where the gems are. Wow, this is a lot of water. Oh, I forgot to reopen this. It's not like it matters to be honest, but there's the gem uh, gem cave. I'll open this up. Why not? Why not? Is that diamonds or emeralds? Looks like emeralds. Oh, come on now. There's the... Diamonds! No, those are emeralds. Are they? I don't know. I guess we'll find out right now. They, they look like emeralds, though. Sapphires. Oh, alright. That threw that off. Please give me diamonds. Oh, this is a problem. Not only have we only found two life crystals, but... I haven't found any diamonds yet. Which is a really big, like, letdown. I'll check for- I'll check this one. This could- It's possible that it could be a diamond. To be- to be, uh, you know, truthful, it's most definitely probably not a diamond. But it's still worth- it's worth a gander. So I'm gonna look. Wow, even with, like, the mining charm, this- this mining speed is not optimal. I feel like the lead pickaxe would just do better. But I don't want to switch to the lead pickaxe, because that's old school. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being old school, but still. Let's see what we got here. Emeralds. Fudge. Where are those diamonds at, yo? This is ruby. This is a Christmas one. I like that. Come on. They're killing me here. They really are. There's got to be diamonds somewhere. I'll find them. I literally only need like 10. It's not, I know it's not really... Ooh, a bunny banner. And I know I said I'd put away the starfish wand, but... <laughs> the uh, the weapons that I currently have in my arsenal are not starfish wand worthy. Or, I mean, are not better than the starfish wand at all. And I do want to switch it up, trust me, so... I'll get rid of it pretty much as soon as possible. Or, er, well, you'll see. I want to get something. Are you serious? No diamonds anywhere. I really hope I didn't miss any. Let's not... What the fuck is even going on right now? Uh oh. Alright, that was really weird. Frames just went all cray-cray on me. Come on. This is ludicrous. No diamonds anywhere. That's how we're playing, Terraria. That's that's really how we're playing. There's some thorium. Oh boy. This is gonna be a rough hard mode if we don't get those diamonds. Oh cool, it ran out. Well, that's fan diddly tastic. I'm gonna use this life crystal, the other life crystal I found. And actually, nah. We're gonna make something real cool. So as you can see, I have 10 arcane dust, 20 thorium bars, and 25 hellstone bars. First things first, we're going to make a molten pickaxe. It's going to replace our uh, magma pickaxe. It's done as well. Now, there's a dormant hammer. We need 10 thorium bars, 5 hellstone bars, and 10 arcane dust. If I make this, we have a dormant hammer. Unfortunately, it doesn't know anything, but it is a material. Upon completion, this dull hammer can take on three forms at any time. Any time. So, if we go to a... What? Am I missing something here? Oh, I am. I hate it when that happens. Alright, I don't know why he keeps... Oh, whatever. I have the traveling merchant trapped here, too, which is kind of funny. Thor's hammer. We need 20 thorium bars. Oh, they upped the price of that. Ooh, 20 thorium bars. That's killing me. Where, where are my thorium? There. Okay. 
So now I should be able to make... Here it is, Thor's Hammer. 36 melee damage, very fast speed, strong knockback. Movement speed and knockback resist increased on damaging foes. Melee mode activated. So as you can see here, it, this is a material too. What the fuck? Let me check this thing out. I'll switch it with the Obsidian Saber for now. Pretty cool, pretty cool. However, I'm not sure. Because this is a material, so like, what does that even mean? We can turn it into the ranged version. Oh, so I see now. Alright, okay, hold on. This is done. I don't fucking need a chain knife. I don't even, I thought this was a modded weapon. Or a weapon in the mod, but it's not at all, so... That can go, like, away. Really now? Really now? There. So, look at this. Looky here. Look what I got. So, we're gonna get Seth. I'm gonna sell all my crap to you that I don't need here. There's quite a bit of stuff here. Quite a bit of stuff here. Um... Alright, that's, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Thor's hammer. At a workbench, we can turn it into the ranged version, which has uh, throw out a returning image of the hammer. Let's see how this works. Oh, so that's cool. I'm not sure how good it is, but that's cool. I kind of want to test out all three like at the same time, but that would not be a wise idea. So that's cool. Oh, and it's damaged, this one, which is awesome, but... Then we have the magic version. Send out a magical wave on swing. Oh, and I can change the prefix, like, every time. Whoa, look at that thing. It's pretty good speed. Does not use that much mana. But I already kind of have a boomerang, so we're going to stick with the melee version. Also, I'm going to try to get a good, uh a good prefix because I'm dirty like that let's see uh, it's slow no not what I'm looking for this is like the goblin tinker isn't even needed here I could just do this so I'm gonna just keep on reforging reforging doing the bulky what's that that's not what we're looking for here I'm gonna keep on doing this until I get a good prefix so I'll be right back okay so we got a ruthless Thor's hammer which is plus 18 damage minus 10 knockback but I'll take that because the buff we get increases our movement speed. Oh my god. Oh. That's so good for my freaking setup right now. The increase in movement speed kind of negates the obsidian armor. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. Alright, well, we're basically, like, done. So what I'm going to do now... Is that thing... There is, uh... I still do need to show off some things. So... Let's go to the guide. There's one cool thing you can make with a Hellstone bar. Uh, right here, Magma Blast Shotgun. It's kind of like a shotgun, but it's like Hellstone. Fires three bullets, fast speed, very weak knockback. Pretty pretty solid all around. And Inferno Staff. Uh, speeds forth Molten Inferno. I don't really feel like making that, though. So. Next thing's next. Or, I don't know how to say that properly. Next thing's next. Whatever. What we're gonna do is I have no idea what comes next there's still stuff I'm missing but nothing nothing's like really worth showing off so I have a plan instead here's what we're gonna do ba -ba. all right okay we're gonna get all of our dirt pretty much we're gonna make a bridge all across hell that it that's I think that's pretty much it I mean like what else I'll take some dynasty wood and some torches I'll make some campfires cuz why not torches torches oh they're all in my inventory how much one good enough so I'm gonna make a hellstone a hell forge a thing you know what I mean a hell bridge and I'll see you guys when I'm done with that that's gonna take a long time and I'm excited to make it Finally, 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 I found a voodoo demon. Criminy, that took so long. I feel like every time, it just takes forever. What? I can equip them now? I don't follow. I uh, also, I found another one immediately after. That's funny. I don't understand. This one's armored. That's some, that's some nice defense. 
Alright, hold on. I, I switched it around just to be fun. Because why not, really? So hold the phone. I wanted to test out the uh, Archer one, too. And it's not bad. Not bad at all. Look at that. Only thing is, it doesn't really pierce. Uh, so I, like, right now, I, I personally think that the metal, metal, melee one, is the best, and I get a dull one. I will not stand for that. So, now we gotta, we gotta, like, we gotta talk, and we gotta, let's just kill everything first. What does this mean? Oh my god. Okay. By the way, I finished my bridge. It's nice. I'm pretty sure the way this works is if I were to, say, equip one. Equipped one. Then. I can kill the guide. Where is he? I'm pretty sure that's how this works. Right? Yeah. And when I kill him, what happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. Really? Okay. Oh, that just makes me all sad. And I want to say too, right before I fo oh, no, right before I fight the waff, the wall of flesh. Um, there are some things that I had that I didn't show off in pre-hard mode. However. You know, I didn't show them off, that obviously means that they're not super important. You know, there, there are still some of the shields, like iron, tungsten, gold shields. Uh, a couple other, you know, materials I didn't make. I'll explain actually some cool stuff that's really good. Um, just like the nice edge, there are now mage, er, not mage. Uh, I need no one to move in here until the guy moves back. Just like the mage. Or just like the uh, melee version of the knight's edge sword. There are bows and stabs, also, so that's pretty cool. Um, they're they're all pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie, they're not bad. Just I don't see myself ever using them because I have stuff that's good enough. A uh, couple arcane armor sets I didn't make. A couple other you know miscellaneous things. There's a new sword. It just it's called the Beekeeper you get from the Queen Bee. That's nice. Uh, I there's I literally think that's all I didn't make. Or show off, I should say. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to grab some potions. Let's get iron skin. And, uh, obviously healing. Let's get three of those. Thorns. And some jelly. Alright, well, I guess fucking let's just see how this goes. I'll just take that. Let's see how this goes. Um... I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fight this guy and I'm gonna win. So I'll be back down in hell. I, I'm, I'm pretty much there. I really hope this goes well, to be honest, because I don't want to fight. I want. I don't want to like farm for potions and other stuff. Also, there's some other you know little miscellaneous things that I missed. UFO spawns new enemies. Not UFO. Uh, the meteor spawns new enemies, but hopefully I'll get a meteor in hard mode. It doesn't really matter to me. Um. I didn't kill the king slime, doesn't drop anything new. Didn't kill the queen bee, beekeeper, but that's just the sword. Uh, yada yada, I think that's it. Really, there's nothing super important that I left out, just a couple cool tidbits. They are worth showing off, but, like, it takes so long to get them. So, we're honestly, I'm jumping into this, let's do this. Wow. Honestly, I'm jumping into this, let's do this. Alright. Oh my god, he's not alive! God damn shit! Oh god. For the love of Christ, now I gotta wait for him to spawn. Alright, so I made a little area where I'm gonna house all the fucking NPCs that I don't wanna, like, deal with. So, hopefully the guide will move in here and I can switch him over to the big house on the left. Yes! Finally! Jesus Christ, finally! Okay, okay, I have been using... All of my Spelunkers potions just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth in all the caves I've dug. But finally, 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 I found 
some good old diamonds. Now all I needed were three total, and I'd pretty much be in the clear. But for fucking criminy almightery, I could only find like one. Oh, please tell me these are actually diamonds, by the way. I, I can only find one throughout my whole... Oh, that feels good. I can only find one throughout my whole ordeal. Um, in my thing, so I was just one short. And diamonds are pretty important for something that you'll see coming up soon. Not really, actually. <laughs> but you'll see it. You'll see it coming up. Finally. Finally, 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 finally. I found a whole bunch of them. Unfortunately, I still do need more, but the easy part, or the hard part is over. Uh, you'll, you'll see why I need diamonds in the coming episodes, but... Bleh, excuse me. Right now, I got all I need. And I'm pretty sure that these few life crystals, or these two, anyway, aren't going to put me at max health. So that is just swiggity swell. I finally, finally, finally got diamonds. Um... To be honest, I'm still waiting for the guy to spawn. It has been quite a while, so I don't know what's taking so long. But we are one more life crystal away from max health. For now, anyway. And, uh, yeah, that's... I think I have shown everything that's necessary to be shown. Oh, there's the last life crystal. Look at that. How did I miss that? That's, like, dug up. I don't know how I missed that. If these are diamonds, I'm going to be annoyed. Alright, they're not. That, I'm annoyed still, but now I feel better. That I didn't just miss a bunch of diamonds. Anyway. Boom. 400 health. So. Next up is just waiting for the guy to respawn. And I'm going to have a whole lot of fun doing that. Oh, by the way, literally a few seconds after I just cut the video, I forgot to mention. I had, I bought uh, from the, the, the chef slices of cake and apple pies. Now, this is 70 life, but it improves your movement for a brief uh, while, I guess. So that's just awesome. Honestly, like, that that movement that, that's going to be improved is going to probably help a lot in the Wall of Flesh fight, and I'm glad I was able to grab it. So that's that's basically it. Alright, so are all these filled up? Like, where's the guy at, yo? He's just being a jerk. Alright, well, I guess while I'm waiting for him to spawn, what I'm going to go do... He's go all the way to the, uh, to the, to the right side of the map, and look for goblin scouts. So hopefully I'll be able to fight the goblin invasion, which is the last big thing I need to do, um, in pre-hard mode. So, you know, I'll be back until either the guide spawns, or hopefully, this is not the case, I have enough, um, stuff to summon a goblin invasion. This fucking bitch. Really? Like, really? Molly, I don't even want you here. Now you're gonna go and steal my homie's spot. Alright, well, whatever. I'll just make another freaking little shuriken. Shuriken? What even the fuck am I saying? I'll just make another little, uh, little fucking tank. Okay, I literally just got here, but freaking, the guy's finally here. Okay, I don't care how long this episode is. By the way, if I take off my helmet, it's kind of an easy solution. Actually, speaking of that, whoa, hold the phone here. If I take off my helmet, then I still have all the defensive bonuses. But I don't... Like, I don't really need the other stuff. Too much, hopefully. So, if... Like, can I can I just get this? So, we'll see which one's better here. None of these, really. Alright, so I guess we'll just take... The magma helmet... This looks really stupid, but I'll live with it. Once again, I'll see you guys in hell. Well, here we are. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. Right now. We're doing it. Literally right now. Oh boy. Let's do this. We're gonna be using our starfish wand- Oh, we move so fast. We're gonna be using our starfish wand a lot throughout this fight. So, starfish wand. Uh, the hammer, yada yada, the good stuff. Starfish one is going to be the main damage dealer here, though, because while of flesh, wow, the wall of flesh has a ton of gross little. Oh my god! Oh my god! He does one damage to me, 
It might just, that may just be because I have an iron skin potion, but like, come on now. One damage. You can do better than that. That's embarrassing. There you go, nine. They have whopping nine are on me. Am I hitting him? Ooh, that hurts. He's already at half health, so we just need to fully mana recharge to just recharge. It should be like easy, easy mode now. Hopefully I can handle this. Well, just kidding, I can totally handle this. We basically already won. Only thing that I'm slightly worried about is just running out of path, but even if we don't have enough path, uh, guess what? We can swim in lava, so like, it is like, man, I ain't even scared. We just won, we killed it, we did it. Basically, really soon. Like, pretty much right now. Flawless. Well, now we're in, um, hard mode, and I'm gonna end this off with the biggest cliffhanger in history. Uh, hard mode, you know, definitely has the majority of the content, so if you liked what you saw, you've pretty much seen nothing yet. Because it's about to get a little crazy. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.